Hi, Mark here with rawnutrition.com. In this video, I'm going to present you a juicer buying guide. Basically, what's the best juicer? And what I mean by that really is what's the best juicer for you? All these juicers on this table are really good juicers. Some of them are really the best. Um, and others I have here as examples to explain a little bit of the different types of juicers. Now, if you check out rawnutrition.com, we sell basically the best juices available. Juicers from reputable brands with long warranties, um, juicers that have a very good track record and that are going to provide you with many years of service. So let me get started here and I'll cover each one and the type of juicer. So when I say, what's the best juicer for you, you really got to start with, like when people call us at Raw Nutrition and say, oh, which juicer is the best? I'll say, what do you want to juice? What's your primary goal and what do you want to achieve with your juicer? If you want to juice lots of greens, then we'll steer you into a, a juicer that's very good for greens or if you're doing a lot of wheatgrass. Um, if you want to juice a general variety of fruits and vegetables, then there are other juicers that are better at that. If you want a juicer that's fast and save you a lot of time, there are juicers for that too. So really it's finding the best juice for your needs and then you really have the best juicer. Um, I would definitely caution on uh, wasting money on you know, $50 department store juicers. For one, you're going to get a lot less juice and they're cheap. You can plan on changing those on a regular basis. Also, it's not very good for our planet. Junk things really don't last long and just end up in the junk pile, the dump, and so on. So why not get something that's going to last you years? You will have to invest a lot more than $50 for a good juicer, but you'll have something that lasts many years and provide you with lots of fresh, wholesome juice. So let's get started. I've got here on my right, I'll start off with some citrus juicers. So this is a basic juicer. This here is a Tri Best Citrus Star. Nothing extraordinary, really just a great juice for reducing oranges, grapefruits, and of course, uh, lemons. So basically the little ream turns, you press down and you get juice. If, if you want orange juice, then you could just get a little juicer like this, or even better, a citrus press. You'll see a lot of these, like at outdoor expositions where people are making lemon juice. These are really excellent for pressing citrus. Again, uh, an orange juice made with that is extremely delicious. It's not the most efficient as far as yield. I mean, if you juice oranges with some of these juices here, you're gonna get more juice than you would with a press. But with the press, you're really getting like the pure juice, very little pulp. You're getting just the, the strong orange flavor and sweetness. It's very good and I like to use this occasionally. Well, that's pretty much for the citrus juice and that's all you can do with these. Then moving on, I have here centrifuge juicers. This is the Breville. Um, juice Fountain Elite, I believe this is number 800. This is a fast turning juicer, turns at 10,000 revolutions per minute. It has a large feed chute, which is great for having not to cut things down into smaller pieces. Now, how these juicers operate, and I think that's what I need to cover, I have two different types here. This one is the pulp ejector, so all the pulp that's generated is ejected into a large bucket at the back. Then you have the old time citrus I'm sorry, it's old time Omega juicer, centrifuge juicer, that keeps the pulp inside. Actually, these older style juicers that keep the pulp inside are actually more efficient because the pulp is staying in there all the time that you're juicing and it's getting spun and spun, so the most juice is being extracted. Um, so, the, but you do have to stop and take the pulp out. With a juicer like this, the pulp gets ejected and if you check any of my videos, most of the comparisons I've done the Breville always underperforms in juice yield. Why? Because it goes very fast and a lot of the pulp comes out and it's still humid. It's not really getting in there and getting the most juice out. For one, because it's an ejector style juicer. And for two, the speed. If you want something fast and you want to be juicing quickly every day, I mean, that's what this does. It is fast. So basically how the centrifuge works, and you can check I have numerous juicers you'll find on uh, rawnutrition.com here on YouTube. So centrifuge juicer, basically everything gets chewed up with these blades and all the pulp ends up on the side and gets spun and the juice comes out. So a juicer like this will yield, um, I'd say less juice than other types of juicers here. It'll yield a pulp-free juice because everything goes through the screen. 
but this type of juicer does incorporate air into your juice so it oxidizes more rapidly and um, so you want to drink that more quickly than you would with a slower turning juicer that's pretty much for the centrifuge juicer they're really good for things like carrots and hard vegetables beets and so on but as soon as you get to leafy greens and other things that are soft like apples and stuff you'll find a lot of the produce just gets spit out into the back or ejected out into the back bulbs. You're not getting the most juice. These juices also don't offer a very great warranty with Prevalent's one year warranty in North America, whereas most of these models here is from five to 15 years warranty. So a lot more manufacturer support for their product. A good old tried and true Omega centrifuge juicer here. These are great. They come with five or 10 year warranties from Omega. As I mentioned, the pulp is inside, so you're really getting the most juice, but you do have the inconvenience, you gotta stop your juicer to remove the pulp if you're gonna do, be making a lot of juice. So again, centrifuge juicers, more for hard type vegetables that you'll get the most juice. The other things you'll find a lot lower juice yield. Moving on, I have here the Green Star 5300 or 5000. They're basically the same except for the attachments. Now this juicer here is two twin gears that turn towards each other and squeeze out the juice. So just open that up and show you here. So as you feed produce in, it gets squeezed as these two gears are turning against each other. And will squeeze out the most juice. You see that this is the largest, the twin gear juicer with the largest gears available on the market. And it really squeezes out the most juice. You've got a lot of surface here, a lot of place for the pulp to get squeezed and masticated and then pushed out on the end. Close this back up here. And use the screen. So these are juices that turn relatively slow at 120 revolutions per minute. Um, you'll find them useful for uh, things like greens, celery, uh, even wheatgrass. They'll do harder vegetables too. The only thing with a twin gear juicer, you do need to push things down and maintain pressure. With centrifuge type juicers, because the blade is spinning so fast, you push and it's like it just eats it all up and chews it down. With these here, you really have to maintain some pressure. The gears are only turning at 120 revolutions per minute, but you do have to maintain pressure. So someone that doesn't like having to push to get their juice, you may want to go more towards a self-feeding type juicer like these upright masticating juicers over here on my left. So a twin gear juicer like this, I believe the Green Star in North America is 12 year warranty. So again, a lot of manufacturer support behind that. And with the twin gears in uh, comparisons I've done, you definitely see a little more yield from the same amount of vegetables. So it does tend to squeeze out the most, especially if you've got a pulp control on the end and you can really get in there and squeeze out the most. So very good juicer. Main drawback I would say is having to push everything to get things done. It's also a multi-faceted juicer. You can do other things, processing nut butters or frozen fruit sorbets. So it's really a multi-purpose machine. Contrary to these, this is one purpose, citrus fruit, vegetable juicing and fruit juicing only. And this here, you're really turning into a multi-purpose machine. So moving on, next up I've got um, single auger masticating type juicers. So these break down pulp of the vegetables and squeeze the juice out through the screen. I'll open one up so you can get an idea of the auger. So basically everything that you put in will get broken down by the auger. Everything gets pushed through to the end and squeezed out through the juicing screen. So these are slow turning at 80 revolutions per minute. You'll find these work really well for greens, leafy greens, wheatgrass. And uh, let's see if I can close this up. Let's leave it open for now. So these will do wheatgrass very well. Um, you'll find a lot higher yields than you would with upright juicers like these. They're also a multi-purpose machine also. They come with a homogenizing blank. So same thing like the twin gear, you can do nut butters, frozen fruit sorbets. Now there's even some pasta dyes that you can attach to the end and extrude pasta. So a multi-faceted machine that will provide you know, lots of utility for you. These, these two are really similar, the 8006 and the 8000 series juicers. Main difference here is the larger feed chute 
and the control lever on the end that I've taken off here where you can retain more pull. So similarly, these juicers have a lot of similarity with a twin gear juicer, except you're working with a single gear for juicing. So um, these are great. They're in the $300 range, whereas when you go into twin gears, you're into the four, five hundred and up dollar range. So these juicers here from Omega have 15 year warranties. Same type of service too, um, where you do have to push vegetables down. You find a little bit less because the openings in the auger are larger. So vegetables do tend to get taken into the auger more easily than they do with a twin gear. So harder things like carrots and so on uh, will work well. If they're cut even smaller, they get taken up by the augers even more. So the Omega 8006, really the same design here as the NC800, just the previous model with a smaller feed chute. Um, very popular model. This one's under $300 in North America and a very like probably the most popular single log reducer available. So multi-use purpose tool, they call it the nutrition center, but definitely a great juicer. The only drawback I could say from it is really having to push your fruits and vegetables to get the auger to take it up. Then in the last section here, I have vertical style single auger masticating juicers. So these juicers operate in the same way as a single auger juicer, except vertically. So again, you have an auger that is shaped differently. And the same thing here, everything that you put in, these have what they call blades on top or dual blades and different names. As you put in your vegetables are cut down. So this is really the self feeding feature. As, as it's turning, and these turn uh, respectively, I think it's 47, 43 revolutions per minute, 47, and this one over here, 60. So really slow turning juicers, but as they turn, they cut down those vegetables, they really gobble them down and pull them into the screen here and squeeze out your juice. So it's really through masticating, chewing, it pushes through and squeezes out your juice. Slow process, cold process, basically all of these are cold process juices. Except for our centrifuge juicer, it doesn't really generate heat, but you'll find that your juice does get warmer because of the air that's incorporated in it. It may be only a few degrees, but that air also carries with it oxygen, which brings in oxidation of your fruits with the centrifuge juicer. So in these juicers here, a little more limited as far as multi-purpose. Um, they do juice very well, fruits and vegetables in general. When you get to greens, you do have to be careful with long fibrous vegetables like celery or kale to not feed them whole because the long fibers do kind of get stuck in the pulp outlet. For all of these, the pulp has to go in and make a 90 degree turn and come out. So when you have long fibers, they can tend to bundle together and block your outlets. So that's the, maybe the one disadvantage. Also, they won't work very well with uh, wheat grass. So you can cut it in smaller lengths. You can juice. They really work great when you're mixing different types of vegetables. And you can juice wheat grass and carrots and beets all together and you'll find no problem. As soon as you start mono juicing one thing like lots of celery, you do need to be more careful with the fiber and cut them down. That's pretty much the same for these three models. It's the Omega VSJ843, 15 year warranty in North America. And then you have the 10 year warranty Slow Star here from Tribest, another great vertical juicer. This one here is a little more multi-purpose because it does have an added accessory. Um, they call it the mincing attachment. You can use it for processing frozen fruit for sorbets. So for this one, you do have those added features. And then I have here the whole slow juicer. So this is the only upright masticating single auger juicer that has a large feed chute, a three inch feed chute. So even though you do have a large feed chute, you do need to be careful the amount of produce you do put in. It does reduce your prep time, but you do need, like you have a whole carrot, you put it in, you gotta wait for the juicer to process it before adding more. It does turn a little bit faster at 60 revolutions per minute. That's really insignificant compared to like these are 80 and 120. Really all slow turning juicers that are not overheating your food. So the Kuvings whole slow juicer has a 10 year warranty in North America. Definitely a great juicer. I tend to use this one most often because I don't have to cut things down as much. I like the VSJ2, this is the newest or latest technology 
with the closest spacing between the auger and the screen so you're really squeezing more juice I find than the older model or older style vertical auger juicers. So pretty much covers the different types of juicers you can find on the market and really as I mentioned it really boils down to what do you want to juice the most. So if you're really looking for a multi-purpose tool, you want a kitchen, you don't have too many juicers um, at you, at your availability, you're clogging up your closet space, your cupboard space. Um, these types of juicers here, the Omega NC800 or the 1000 series are great for that. If you want to move away from um, <clears throat> having to push things down and more of a self-feeding juicer, upright juicer like the Kuvings, this one too is multi-purpose because it does come with a homogenizing blank for processing sorbets and fruit, things like that, frozen fruit. And you can also get an optional smoothie screen. So the upright juicers are becoming a little more versatile, yet still not quite like these juicers. Well, again, this is Mark with RawNutrition.com. I hope this juicer buying guide has helped you uh, in choosing the right juicer for your needs. Uh, be sure to check out our videos here on YouTube and subscribe. There are many product demonstrations. You can check out each juicer individually and see it in action and, and its assembly and what it includes and so on. So we got a few hundred videos here on YouTube to help you choose the right juicer. And of course, we're always available at rawnutrition.com too to answer your questions. So be sure to check us out online on our website and subscribe to videos here on YouTube.